The Nomad Wanderer mod pack is here. Welcome, welcome everybody. Pursuit here, playing some Seven Days to Die. Just talking about my mod pack that I just put on the Seven Days to Die forums in the mod section. Um, I'll get it just playing a little bit here as I talk about it, but let's go ahead and get some stuff together here, and I'm going to go out and do a little bit of looting here before dark. Um, so a few things that I've done here. Um, just most recently... Well, maybe I should tell you what the mod... I think we've got everything we need here to go out and loot. So let's go loot, and I will talk about it as we go. Uh, do we need something to eat? No, we're doing okay. So let's go. Got a few hours till dark. Um, I think I've got my hay bales down here somewhere. Yes, they're right there. I think I did just, just jump off the building over there. Oh, that was close. <laughs> did I get you? Because I got me. Um, let's go ahead and go in... Let's go up on the roof real quick, because some stuff up on the roof probably too. Uh, so, the uh, Nomad Wanderer mod pack is a pack that I've been putting together um, that has makes it so that someone who doesn't want to make a base all the time has a little easier way of collecting what they want without having to worry about uh, gathering everything to a certain location. They can just take it with them instead. It allows to break down things a lot uh, into more base resources uh, so your inventory stays a little cleaner you can still get around and get what you need where is that is the ladder right here I hate these ladders it's supposed to be right here where is it oh good I didn't break my leg that's at least good oh yeah there it is um so I should run around the front huh get in here let's go up on top of the other building first though because I don't think I I don't think I looted the top of this building. So a lot of, the, like I said, that's the main point is to make it easier to get all of your stuff together. I have to remember where this is because it's impossible to find it. Um, I already looted this building here. This is the shotgun Messiah, but I didn't remember to loot back here. So let's grab what's up here. Goody goody. Uh, let's go ahead and pull both these bodies. Um, so let's see what. So. A lot of the stuff that it does is like, for instance, turning 10 millimeter rounds into ammo parts so you can craft them. Because they used to be available in what, like Alpha 12, I think you could craft ammo and different ammo. Well, this allows me to craft it ammo parts, and then for ammo parts, I can make different ammo once I've unlocked them. So right now, I only have 762 rounds unlocked. Um, it also allows me to craft things to lower tiers. So like these, I can make them into iron arrows because I've got lots of iron arrows, and I don't really want to carry around steel arrows with me. So we're just going to do that, too. Um, grab this also. It also has this hammer here. It works just like the... Uh, got everything up here? I think so. Um, works just like the... Uh, the wrench. For looting stuff. So that's fairly easy way to go. Um... It's kind of an upgrade from the wrench. I figured, you know what? You're not really cared about screws and bolts. You're this claw on the back of this thing will work great for tearing stuff apart. You're not building anything with it. You're just tearing stuff apart. So let's go ahead and take this apart too. While I'm here, um, and yes, it does work a little faster than the wrench does, which you would kind of think it would. You're just tearing it apart, but you're tearing it apart to a degree. You can still recover stuff from it. So let's go ahead. I can also. Make these into duct tape. Um, let's just scrap all of these, and I hate doing it that way, but, you know, I also made recipes for some of these things that are a little bit more... Oh, let's go ahead and make the the one that I did most recently that's not in the pack yet. Um, turning a mining helmet, because I already have a mining helmet, into a flashlight. Um, that way I can put it on my, see my pistol. Ta-da! Um... Because, you know, you find lots and lots of... I've already scrapped two mining helmets, which I might go back and collect, because I think it's kind of lame that I lost them. Uh, but that's an option of things you can do with this pack. Looting as I go. So, uh, what else can I do here? I can... Let's go ahead and scrap that. Let's turn... Uh, let's go ahead and... What else can I do here to make myself some inventory space? Let's turn the rest of these pipes into iron, rather than losing remnants of them. 
I really didn't need that golden rod. Let's, let's get rid of this golden rod. Just gonna give me trouble. We'll go grab it another day. Let's go in here because the zombies are gonna be out soon, and I haven't looted the back room yet. Oh, shopping basket. Let's leave it there. It's in the front of the store. And I already had the pistol book, but let's go ahead and read it again. Because you get some extra experience points out of it. Apparently I didn't do a very good job looting this place. Um, is that a shotgun recipe? I don't know if that was or not. Let's go ahead and... Hunting rifle. I already had that one, but let's go ahead and do it again. Uh, let's just throw something up in the window here, because it looks like I'm going to be out after dark. So what else is in the mod pack here? Um, I also made it so that you can create, and I already have the recipe for the regular pistol, but I made a broken pistol recipe. So you can craft these together, and it will turn give you a red copy of it that's not usable as a gun. Uh, so if you want to keep extras on hand, if you want to keep stuff on hand um, as broken items, you kind of just like, it's like you stuck all the parts in a bag together and hooked them with you, rather than having to leave having a whole inventory full of weapon parts you find as you go along the way. Uh, so, so those of you who have already heard this, I apologize, but I'm just trying to give a run now for anybody who might check this out because I've just released the pack. Uh, let's go ahead and craft some tokens because I made my things everything to craft the tokens. Now that tokens are brass, all brass um, have it crafting to tokens because it gives you the most. I'm not getting extra, I'm just getting everything that I should. Let's go ahead and make these into ammo parts. So yes, it combines some of the ammo stuff all together, but to me it makes more sense than having it otherwise. Let's go ahead and make some more iron arrows. Basic recipe, nothing special there. Uh, I'm trying not to attract anybody in here during the night. Because I'm not playing very smart right now. Because uh, I'm trying to talk, and I'm trying to loot, and I don't want to be sitting up on my building doing absolutely nothing. So I already looted most of this place. Uh, I do have my helmet, so let's go ahead and turn that on. Um, flashlight apparently will work just fine, too. It turns on... same time. That's kind of weird. So we got a basket here. Oh, that's a nice basket. We should keep that one. Um... So what else do I got going on here? I'm just trying to hit, hit some highlights of what I've done here as we finish looting this place. Uh, the forge, for instance. The forge is now disassembled. You can disassemble it down to a get a bellows back from it when you disassemble it. Uh, so you can recraft it. You can also break the bellows down into animal hide. So if you don't want to... Wow, those lights are just so bright. I really need to take get rid of my pistol. It's too much. Um... Did I loot all this stuff? Some of these counters you can sometimes loot. Oh, there it is. This one over here you can loot also. So I haven't been in the back room. I think I should probably go through. Let's go through. I can't tell which one will let me through. Let's try. Well, I think I can go through right here would be good. Oh, that's brick. Oh, let's just go through the door then. Um, so let's see, what else am I trying to say here that I've allowed to happen? Get this pick working on this. Um, oh yes, I made it also so that you have schematics now for the tool and die set and the, um, and the calipers and the beaker. Those are all things you can craft now, rather than carrying around extras of those, because uh, the Nomad Wanderer is based on, like I said, being mobile. So I'm going to have lots of time that I want to just take everything apart and take it with me. You can also craft some of those. You can craft a cooking pot and a... Um, hard to play and talk at the same time. Uh, a, a grill. You can do both of those from Forged Iron now. Let's go ahead and... Go in through here, I guess. Um, and you can break them down into forge. You can create them for forge iron, break them down into forge iron. And I've tried to remove, wherever possible, the ability to get experience from items um, that look like you could craft and uncraft them. Because uh, I don't want people just crafting and uncrafting things. It is kind of a cheap way to do it. And the game is kind of made lame for me to have to deal with the 75% thing. But it's still something that we have to deal with on a regular basis. So as you notice, my inventory is actually staying pretty clean for all the stuff that I've collected. Um, 
I've also done a lot of stuff with uh, medical. Um, oh, there's one of my schematics. Let me show you the schematic here while we're going. Uh, so now it's a schematic rather than an actual item. So you read it, you get the recipe for the beaker, which you can craft in the forge or the campfire. But since you can use it in the campfire, I made it so you can craft it in the campfire too. If you want to be a little more mobile. Um, using glass jars, you can, I'm thinking, you know, somehow make a better beaker out of it, you know. Take it for what you will. Um, but I didn't want to carry around all those extra items, so now you can just craft them. You just take your regular jars and turn it into those items. Um, I also made it so you can make several recipes here, like pain pills. You can now turn pain pills into... Um, Bandages using cloth or bandages. So since I've got two pain pills and two bandages, I'm going to go ahead and craft them into regular first aid bandages. And yes, I have a lot of those on hand. I was kind of in the testing phase. I might make it so you get less. Uh, I might make it actually more so it's more difficult and you have to do this kind of stuff, which would be an interesting way to do it. Or, you know, basically playing it on a higher difficulty would do the same thing. Let's go ahead and read this one for the recipe, um, which I made. I may do that in the future, depending on how this turns out. I also made it so that, I mean, what do you, there's so many items in this game you throw away, like these splints. Um, so you can go ahead and now craft these down to cloth. At least you get something out of them, uh, because before you would get absolutely nothing out of them. Um, I'm just looking at my notes here to see what I might have missed while I've been trying to get stuff set up here. Let's see. Um, what did I want to tell you guys? Uh, yeah, that's really the main stuff like i said you can also make you can now make mining helmets i think i maybe i didn't get to mention i mentioned pulling it off the flashlight but you can also make a mining helmet from any of the regular see the scrap iron the iron military swat or football so not, you can't craft any of those helmets unless you have a recipe or you can find some of them so it's not like you get an automatic mining helmet you still have to find duct tape and a flashlight, so if you want to do either way, turn a mining helmet into a flashlight or a flashlight and a mining helmet, it's an option. And I hope to in the future be able to actually attach these to, like, attach a flashlight to a military helmet, kind of like, like you would a weapon, but I haven't looked into it far enough to see how complicated that would be. I'm sure it's possible, um, or I think it was possible, but, you know, how hard it's going to be, we'll have to, that's to see in the future. Um, so I pretty much looted this whole place up. What else do I have here that I could show you? Oh, yes, I also made it so you can turn grain, grain alcohol into beer if you want to. Uh, did I actually do two of them? No, there's another beer recipe. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so you can make it from murky water. I figure, you know what, you add some alcohol to some murky water, it's probably going to be okay to drink um, So as beer. So, yes, murky water and grain alcohol will make beer. I've also increased the stack size for most things by ten times, which may be a lot, but I thought they were kind of small before. First aid kits now. Um, grain alcohol... Make them with grain alcohol, first aid bandage, and duct tape because I have removed blood bags from the loot items and the blood bag kits because, you know, I have some medical training and I know there's a better chance you'll kill yourself trying to use blood bags that you find around in the waste or from your buddy who you have no idea what blood type he is um, than if you just use... Um, than if, you, than if you just try and get better without it. So I just never did like that. And plus, it used up a lot of my inventory space trying to carry some of that stuff around, so we just did away with it. Um, what else can I show you here that I've done? Um, I think we'll, look, look how much inventory space I still have. It's awesome. Um, I can make some more kits here if I need to also with that recipe, because I've been collecting green alcohol. And, you know, once you get a few of those kits, it's really not a big deal. It's more of being able to conserve space and do what you want to with your items. Like I said, there's also, you can, oh yes, you can make these from cloth also. You add some cloth to your painkillers, you get a first aid bandage, you can, you know, rather than adding to the bandage. And you can also use cloth for bandaging. Uh, it's, it does stop bleeding and burning. Uh, it, still, it still stops burning. Um, I know they took that out of the regular bandage, but I added it before they took that out, so I'm just going to leave it. Uh, if you want to stop burning, throw some cloth over yourself. So I'll burn the cloth, but you'll stop burning. Makes sense, right? I thought so anyways. Let's see. Let's make sure we got nothing else to loot here. Um, probably just head back to... Grab this last basket and head back to my base. Grab some leftover trash here. 
So why not let's bang on this car here and get all the zombies to know where we are. Who cares? Try to keep an eye on my clock here, so let me click over there. Okay, we're, we're still doing... I'm doing pretty good here for time-wise. Um, I like to keep my episodes under 20 minutes, so we're just going to loot here. If somebody comes up and tries to get us, we will just run for our safety. Uh, I think I'd have pretty much looted everything around here, though, so... And my inventory! Oh, I almost made it! Let's go ahead and make a recipe. First aid, craft. So it really just keeps your inventory so you can stay mobile. Really haven't done this one yet? Um, let's go ahead and make these into ammo parts. And what else? Oh, I got some pipes here. And look at that, we're still mobile. So this pack is going to be available on the forums. Um, you can download it. I've got it hooked to a Dropbox download. Um, and really what it contains is the main items. Uh, it, it's XML edits. I've tried to keep it simple so you could add it to other mod packs uh, rather than having to deal with um, not being able to add it anywhere. Let's see, let's put this iron in the forge here. Go ahead and start it up here. Go ahead and melt some of that down. Put my old axe in there. Um, so yeah, like I said, you can do leather into duct tape. What are some other things I was thinking of? Um, yeah, like you said, you could put a helmet on there. I might add something to try and put a, use a light to make a flashlight or a helmet. I'm not sure how that's gonna work best. Uh, it might be a little too simple, so I haven't done it yet. Um, yeah, these splints. I mean, really, do you really need splints that often? You usually just craft them when you need it. That's how, what it comes down to. Um, let me see. Let me look at my list here while we're looking at stuff that's going on. And I can finish telling you what else I might have added. Um, lots of food recipes. As you notice, I have mainly chicken soup and can of salmon. All the soups, all the foods that are canned can be crafted down to these two items to save yourself space. Uh, and they're, they're relatively the same. I typically went for something that was less, a lower tier of something, rather than a higher tier. Uh, some of them, you can end up with extra cans, because you craft some of the really high-level ones, like the rations. I end up with a few extra cans, which is not a big deal. Um, some of the stuff is just not going to work out perfectly. I also made it so that you can make... Uh, you can can... Right now, it's only for canning. But if you want to make... Uh, what is it? It's the chicken, I think? Uh, which one did I do? I made it so, so you can make the beaker here, if you have the recipe. You can also make, uh, oh, cans of salmon if you have raw meat you can with a can. And you can craft cans in the forge now. So raw meat in a can will give you a canned salmon, uh, which is not nearly as much as you would get by cooking this another way and eating it. So it's not like I'm overpowering things here. Glue, I took the bottles out of glue. Um, because I want to make sure you can get your bottles back. If you're going to be on the road all the time, you want to be able to get stuff back. Um, let's go ahead and cook this water up while I'm thinking about it. Um, put a little bit of... It's not nearly going to do all of it, but uh, bottled water. Let's have something to eat. We've had a hard, nice hard day. Have some of this so we can clear out some of the inventory out of there. Um, time is not on my side right now. Going for less than 20 minutes. So let's look to see. Oh, there's UI additions. If you didn't notice up in the top left, there is heat and wind. On the right, there's the coordinates. And down in the bottom, your food and water are constantly on there, which is something I should have mentioned near the beginning, but I forgot. Uh, time stay after death. I have increased to 25 minutes for most creatures. Your backpack is for 24 real hours. Um, I know I forgot some stuff. There's lots of stuff that I've been doing to make it easier uh, for all of this. So, it's time for me to go on. So, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did better. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Um, oh, I also made one for the mini bike to be able to carry the broken parts for mini bike. You'll have to look at that up later. Um, subscribe for future content. If you're not a member of my channel, leave me some comments what you thought about this mod pack, what I do in the future. Favorite also. And I will see you in the next one. Now get on with your pursuit. Hope you enjoy the mod pack.